G'day and welcome back for more assertive acquisitions aboard the Queen B Pack. I mean, the Tug of War. Rude. The ship of many <laughs> names. Well, it's got lights now, so we can it can see. It does. It's got uh, some very warm yellow lights. For a warm yellow ship. Yeah. We had a plan at the end of last week, which was TFE finding his lava suit. Capac. No, you're in your correct suit. That's fine. Uh, I'm in my suit. You are and you aren't. What? <laughs> but, Tiffy, the thought was if you could make a jump drive module with a couple of connectors on it and probably a pass-through for those connectors so that we can attach multiple modules to this ship so that this ship can jump. Capac was going to keep working on his giant hinge door thing. He might also want to work on some module storage area. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I was going to work on a spectrometry module. Like a little turret that's a spectrometer. So I can scan the asteroids from a distance. Okay. So we can jump to the asteroids, scan the asteroids, find out that we can't get uranium, and then all decide that that sucks and we have to figure out how to get lots and lots of ice. Sound well, good? Better... Yeah, I was going to think, well, how far are the other planets if we go up jump drives? I don't know how far they are. And I'm slightly I mean... afraid of accidentally jumping into the gravity well of the gas giant. TFE! Yeah. Don't oh, let all oops. the air out! <laughs> you monster! And I make a triple airlock and you still let all the air out. I know, right? Fine. <sighs> Can't get good help. Oh, uh, do you guys want to come have a look at something I've been working on? Yeah. Come yeah. and meet me in my former bedroom. Now the giant hole in the space. This way? Through here? And head through that door. Come back. This way. Head Wait, through that door. I... It's a trap. Don't do it. This looks suspiciously like an elevator. It's suspiciously like a functioning one. Press the button. You're going to have to wait till it arrives. Yeah. You can't actually open the door until it arrives. There we go. Should we ride it? Come on, can't, can't, read, I can't read what it says. Or the foo. <laughs> <laughs> e the foo ild el un. I see the fut our uni. All right, which floor do we want to go to? We're on the first floor. Do we want to go ground, basement one, or basement two? Uh, why don't we go basement two? I pressed one, but we didn't go anywhere. I think you both might have pressed at the same time. No, I didn't press anything. We are at one, Capac. <laughs> but it says G. No, that's... There we go. Ground is the next floor down. But why is it green? Because it's the ground floor. You know how the, the level you know how in, you're on. You know how in lifts, the ground floor button's always a bit different? I mean, it he, does have a, he does yeah. have a point. It normally lights up the floor you're at. I know. I, there, there's a script out there that can do that sort of stuff. I just haven't... Yeah. I used a different script. Also, have a look at this welder ship. Energy Come back. low. Uh... What the? Yeah. What happened to the cockpit? It's broken. Yeah. Neat. It's not broken. It opens. And depressurizes. I mean, that's a kind of breaking. <laughs> I suppose. Wait, does that work with the other ones oh, as well? Yeah, wait. they got sliders. They got slidey doors. Oh, yeah. Oh, on the sides. Oh, yeah. Neat. I see, I see. Yeah, another cool little mod. But yeah, so the the elevator has call buttons at each floor. It goes to each floor. And yeah, it works. I put the LCDs on the far side of the door because I was like, I want to put something on the other side of the door because I can't figure out how to have only one door open. The Kala Cola. Clan Cola. Clan Cola. So how long until two of us call for the lift at the same time? It'll only work for the last person who pressed it. Oh. Um. It's a weird jump. What did you press, Capac? I pressed basement one. Oh, that's why the jump happened, because I was I'd already sent us up to the ground floor. Yeah. But we didn't try all the floors. No, that is true. So yeah, what do you think of my uh lift? That's pretty good. I don't know. We'll see if going to basement two murders us all. So we there is there. there is something that I did accidentally discover murders the server. 
Yeah, we were hit just here before. Oh, well, which is the floor we haven't been to? Ground. Uh, oh. No, no, I thought it was the top one. No, we haven't been to ground floor. Oh, yeah. Uh, are we moving? Why don't you press a button just then and break it? Press ground. Nothing happened. I pressed as well and didn't do anything. Oh, now I'm moving. It's hard to tell when we're moving in here. Yeah. See? Ground floor. Nice. Ground floor, med bay. Uh... Um, is there... Is there access to the elevator shaft somewhere? Nope. Because what you could do, to give an indication of movement, you could put, put instead some lights of in there. having, no, no, instead of having blocks, like make, like, um, I don't have any materials Windows. on me, but make like the middle row, like glass, and then yeah. have some lights in the elevator tube. Oh yeah, so I could that do as that. as you go past, you see them sort of go, yep. going, going up and down. Yeah, I'll do it on these ones. So, jump drive module. Yep. And oh, I'll dear. get onto the spectrometry modules soon. I think even without lights on the outside, you'll get a sense of movement just by being able to see the texture go past. Yeah, but lights would give you like the effect of like having them like flash as you go past. Actually, that's what you could do. You could have um, some sort of pattern to the armor outside. Well, I was actually thinking it'd be Ooh. really cool if I could get some spotlights in there. If you put the because then um... you'll get the because they're actual proper lights. So you'll you'll get the changing shadows as you go past them. If you put the um, the warning stripes armor pattern on it, <laughs> they'd all be like zigging as we went past. Yep, it would. Launch zig for great justice. Yeah, that's that's what I was working on because I wanted to give us a proper elevator and I was tired of messing it around last time. So I had all sorts of problems. Oh, you're going to see all the things that I didn't finish in the elevator shaft now, though. Oh. <laughs> that I just kind of was like, well, no one's going to see this. I don't need to do anything with it. Oh, you guys didn't notice what I did in the uh, hangar area either, did you? Uh, apparently not. Did you blow something up? I put some, like, warning things around the place and stuff like that. Oops, I hear someone painting. Yep. I had messed up some of the painting when I did some other bits and I was just fixing up the bit that I messed up. The uh, hangar doors now have controls for them inside the hangar. I need to put controls on each of the ships though, but I'll deal with mm. that later. Do I need, I need some batteries on the jump drive module? Um, so, yes you will, but you'll also need engines because you need a, the ability to generate power for the jump drive. Yeah. You've also got to remember to not make it too big, because Capac's ship doesn't have infinite yeah. carrying capacity. No, oh, you've added a whole lot of extra catwalk. Yeah. Let's see. Because I, I walked up through the this bit of the refinery. Yep. And I got to the end and I just came to a pipe. <laughs> yeah, it used to have a bit more going on. So I was thinking of a system to try and keep the hydrogen engines a bit more, a bit less of a problem for us. And what I thought I could do is if we set up a system where we've got some separate hydrogen tanks and, a hi and the hydrogen engines and they're connected to the rest of the system via connectors, because I don't think we can do it with sorters. Um, but if we do it by a connector and then once the tanks are full, we switch off that connector. That way the engines will run until they run out that fuel, yeah, but they won't run out won't. the fuel for the rest of the base. Yeah, we won't be getting in ships and going, oh no, it's out of fuel. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking whether that might be a valid option. That all sounds complicated. Because I think we're out of ice again. We are. Ready? Uh-huh. And the engines are empty, so we're out of... Capac's ship may well be out of fuel. Also, as a reminder, people have been asking for your ship, Capac. Oh. I don't have a ship. There is no ship. <laughs> uh, why isn't my piston retracting? It looked like it was stuck. Oh, unstuck. Benz, do you want to risk things exploding? I mean, I guess I could just launch. It'll be fine as long as I go backwards instead of forwards. Okay. I, was, I, was I say, put it up to Yacht sure, Newtons. Are you sure you've got fuel? It's at Yacht Newtons of Force, just remember that. Yeah. That's why I'm trying it, to see if it explodes everything. <laughs> um, so do you have fuel? Uh, 
Yeah, I should do. Uh, I need to figure out what you've done with my hangar bay door. I just set the limits so that it wouldn't crash into your module that's stuck on top. Yeah, but you've still got it set on hyperspeed. <laughs> I do. I do. Seems dangerous. Alright, I'm heading to the pole. Do you remember where it is? Um, I don't know, north or south or something. So head about 30 degrees off from the sun, 30 degrees left of the sun, and you'll head my way. Sun? Yep. Your instruction is not going to help, because I can't see any sun. Well, once you get enough altitude, you will. Oh, there it is. There's always so many different jobs to be done. Like, I really want to add extra tanks to the base, but I really want to come up with the... Yeah. Spectrometry module, but I really want to do this, but I really want to do that, but ah, there's too many things. Too many things and not enough time. At some point, we may actually want to consider building. If we don't find uranium, we may need to build a proper fuel refinery up here at the pole. Something with a base mounted drill rig to collect ridiculous amounts of ice, and then we can ship the hydrogen back, like make a big tanker module for Kamak's ship. Because I reckon he could eat... With how much ice he can carry, he could probably carry like 10 full hydrogen tanks. I came across a good idea for the asteroid facility. Basic assembler. Potentially, yes. So then you got the components for basic repair, but nothing advanced. Sounds reasonable. Hmm. So welding on there. Oh, Kapak, have you got a programmable block on there yet? Nope. Have you thought of where you might fit one? Nope. Have you planned pain. anything at all? It's going to be a pain to squeeze it in anyway. I I know, but couldn't it fit behind the couches? Yeah, but it'll look dumb. Uh, you are also full. You can head on back. But yeah, basic assembler seemed like a decent balance between not... not sticking... not forcing every little bit to be shipped and also not making the moon base obsolete. I like how I was about to complain about hand welding, but they remembered what me and ship welders are like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my poor welder blob. Hey, there's a ship here. I hope that's Kapak. Yes, Kapak should be arriving shortly. We also have some options we could go and pirate, but it's unfortunately dark. Although it's... the Quasimodo would be in light if we want to go after it. We could. Has my ship got fuel? <laughs> well, once we've locked on, it shouldn't take too long. It... Oh, yep, yeah, it's full. Oh, yeah. What do you guys reckon? Should we go after the Quasimodo now? Uh, where is it? I don't see it. Uh, it's... I see the Guppy and the THI-842S. It's kind of in the direction of the THI ship. Hey. Well, it's a decent distance away. Yeah, it's like 10 kilometers from base. Ah. Oh. It's weird how all the, um, assert facilities seem to have gone dark since we went off to the asteroids. Maybe they took the chance to flee the moon. <laughs> lost enough stuff that it wasn't worth hanging around any longer. Alright, I'm going out. I will see if I can get back in range nope. of that Quasimodo. Otherwise, I guess we could go after the guppy. Because it dropped off my radar as well. I'm hoping it was just a range thing. The guppy is moving towards us. Oh, there we go. Got the Quasimodo back. Yep. We going? Right. Yep, I mean, I'm heading towards it. Nope. Full go. speed. You should be able to follow my signal. Oh, I've moved a bit too close to that ship. Ah, oh, what the... Oh, I see. 5.6 oh. kilometers away. I am 4.5 k's out from the Quasimodo. I'm going to do a gun run on it first. See if I can get it dead in the water. Or at least. Dang it, that couple damaged. of seconds on, not on stockpile before I disconnected to drain 15% of the tanks. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> you need to disconnect quick when you do it. Yep, I see the Quasimodo. Oh yeah, you are not alone. You're about to be very much not alone. Two kilometers out. Locking target. There's a Propeco behind Monarch inbound. Ah, what's my position coming off me? Oh. Damage. damage. He's also not broad... Oh no, he is broadcast. No, I haven't... I'm not in a battle or anything yet, but... Uh, Wait, I'm gaining fuel? Suddenly smoke started happening. Oh, I've got ice on board, so I'm actually gaining fuel. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shooting up the Quasimodo. No, no. I'm also falling back down towards the moon. Back up. Ow! 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 Oh! 
I think I got one of its turrets. Oh no, I've taken some serious damage. Oh boy. Get away, get away, get away. Just remember, the enemy's gate is down. Oh boy. Oh boy, yep. That, that's a few things on fire. Yeah, yeah, I've got my suckle subsystems is working again. So How close are you guys to getting into battle? Because uh, I'd like some help. Like, even with the sun behind it, the quasi motor is very difficult to see. That's probably because it's behind it rather than on it. Go around to the other side. Put the sun behind you. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Can't hit anything today. Close. Even worse than usual. I came very close to that drone. Oh no, I've lost my lock! Yeah, I just lost my lock too. Switching target. Dang it. Uh oh. He's doing a very good job of evading. No, I can't lock anymore. Yeah, my lock's broken. I'm gonna try switching weapons, see if that does it again. Yep, switching weapons seems to bring it back. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, it's running away. It's flying very fast. Yeah, Kavak and I are struggling with this drone. Running away. My lead indicator is not accurate. See another space wasp. Oh. Okay, you break We're for the space it. wasp. Oh, kill. No! My turrets shooting each other trying to get that drone. Why? Well, I've got one turret now. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it's shooting at the Quasimodo is shooting at me, so you might be able to get close. Yep. Ow! Ow! All reverse. Oh no. Hey, find you close. Come on, some of these shots are gonna hit. Yeah. Well, ship's running away again. Yeah, I'm on. I'm in chase. Oh, I just saw TFV to... fly past very close. <laughs> trying to. Uh, you flew past me. <laughs> oh. Oh, good shot. That was a hit. It was. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Oh, but that's a bad time to say that. Yeah, it is. I thought I had other weapons. No, I missed. I thought I had more ammo for oh, those weapons. I mean, I see another space wasp coming in. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm getting shot at. I'm getting smoked. Oh yeah, from you are. Something. No, my reversing camera. Ah. Oh. Wasp trying to shoot me. Could we all just concentrate fire on the ship and just evade the drones? Perhaps. Because my turret should be able to deal with the drones when they get close to us anyway. Yeah, hopefully. I just lost my camera. I did take out one of the turrets though, I think. It's hard to tell because I don't have my camera. <laughs> Concentrate fire on that ship. We can just oh. take out this other Gatling oh. gun, we'll be okay. Oh no! You just crashed into the... I just hit the drone! Right, they nearly hit me. Uh, I think I'm still good. Has the ship stopped moving? Uh, maybe. Killed its remote control. Yeah, it's not moving. Okay, so then I might have time to go back and get repairs. <laughs> oh! There is a turret still shooting. Yes, there is. And I don't yeah, have a camera, the, so I can't the, get better. The, there's just one. Um, I should yeah, be and able it's shooting to... me! Well, keep it distracted. I'll get it. Oh, another fruit fly. Oh no, there's a drone. <laughs> no, it's still flying. It's still controlling itself. It's not dead. I'm, I'm going after a fruit fly. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. The fruit it's flies not... are pretty nasty. It is very much still functional, TFE. We have not taken out its yeah. control. Don't! Oh, <laughs> I hit the fruit fly. <laughs> <laughs> How much of you is left, Kafak? Kafak is deciding I'm to still... duel them in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm still good to fly. No, I don't uh, want to lock onto... I don't want to lock, lock onto the paprika. So many targets, I can't lock onto the... Okay, I am I am without weapons. I have to go back to base and repair and return. Somewhere in my conveyor linkage, I've, still, I've lost some conveyor linkages. There's only one turret left, I think? There's only I'm one there. per angle. Two turrets, two turrets. Right, I'm gonna have to leave you two to it. Oh, I'm taking yep. some big hits. I've lost my big thruster, I've lost a lot. Oh. Is there another drone? Uh, I don't see one. I mean, Wait. you're doing a very... 
Wait, are you shooting me? No, I'm shooting the ship. I'm getting hit from behind a whole lot. Yeah, you're flying in between us. Come on, get the turret already. Oh man, I am so slow. I have four small thrusters as accelerators. Okay, you guys just stick to it. This range. Oh. Stick to it. I'm slowly heading home. Yeah, there's only one turret, I think. Touching by that rate of fire. Just be careful not to hit those tanks. I was aiming for the tanks. Why is my turret Why firing off the into tanks? the void? Because the gun was on the tank. Why is my turret firing off into the void? Okay. Uh, probably a damaged drone out there or something. Uh, it's flying away from... Oh no, I'm catching up. How's your fuel situation, TFA? Uh, 46%. Okay. Um, Hopefully you'll be able these... to hold out with fuel until I can get back there with yeah. my ship. I just... I, I was completely useless out there. I had to oh, depart. Might have got the turret. There's a monarch inbound. Oh, it's oh no, there's shooting. another one. Oh. Uh, is it our turrets? Nope, oh, nope. Number of times you say stuff like that. Yeah. It's got down to one. Nope. Oh, it's no, got down to this. Nope. There's a drone. Watch out. Yep, and that's a monarch, so it's probably nasty. You want me to switch target to the drone? Ow. Or should I stay on the... whatever it's called? My turret stay should on be able target. to off the drone. Stay on target! The ship doesn't appear to be firing anymore. Finally. <laughs> yeah, it might just have its last gun angled the wrong way. I don't know. We're on opposite sides of it, and... Um... Uh, there's two Valley Crucis is flying towards us. <laughs> oh, it's flying away from me. Um... I'm not picking up any weapons. some of its engines? Uh, no, just stick on the Quasimodo. Yep. I can't, it's flying away from me at high speed. I'm dampened to it. I'm 140 meters away. It was dampened to it, and it just took off, and I couldn't keep up. Well, if TFE's dampened to it, Capac, you might want to come back and get your tug of war. Uh, are we sure we're ready for that? Oh, okay. that's a monarch. It escaped. Right. No, it's... Oh. I thought it jumped out like the one last time. No. Right, I'm going I've got 35% I've got 35% fuel left. I don't dare to fly the tug of war, so I'm just trying to get myself fixed up enough that I can come back into the fight. It's chasing TFE. Oh, I'm chasing it. No, the drone is chasing you. Ow. And we're I'm chasing the drone. We're just flying around so and the ship's chasing you, so <laughs> we're just flying around in circles. Perfect. Uh, I guess we won't lose each other then. Speaking of losing um, each other... Those Valley Cruises are within two and a half kilometers. Their can, flight path might take them through this. Can you guys um, increase the range on one of your beacons? Uh, yep. Uh, I still can't see it. Oh, yes I, I can. Bet. Yes I can. Oh. Get some good hits on the Monarch. Oh, it's going to crash into its own ship. Come on, how are you not dead? Oh, I'm hating being out of this battle! Why did I let myself get so badly shot up? Clearly gotten the conveyors fixed because I got ammo back in my big guns again. Stop shooting into the void, please. I have 25% fuel left. I'm probably going to have to go back at 20. Okay, Capac, just stick on the Quasimodo if TFE has to depart. I'm uh, almost ready to fly out. Uh, there's still... The drone I'm on might be disabled, but there's another one chasing TFE. Well, if he has to head back, at least he'll take it with him. Yep. Deep on that ship, I have to go. <laughs> Alright, I'm on the Quasimodo. Alright, everything on my ship looks to be repaired. Just get some ammo, and then I'm on my way. Uh-oh. Was that you passing near that one? TFE? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, I'm on my way. Oh, no, it is the present ship. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, bad. Well, good luck, TFE. <laughs> Hopefully the base helps you. So Hopefully the back... prison ship didn't appear to be armed. Maybe you didn't get close enough. I thought it called in help, though. I think it did. All right, I come back and make it. Eight Ks out from your position. Oh, yeah, there are, there's a Firefly and two Monarchs chasing the H-Tram. Lovely. Oop, I could well, try to ram the, the Quasimodo. Uh, I've, I've 
I'm coming in with stuff that should be able to take out its turrets. Are there any more turrets on it? I don't think so. It hasn't shot me in a while. Okay. Well, once I'm stuck on it, then you can jump out and I'll I'll keep on it while you go and grab the tug of war so we can grab hold of it properly. I'm a bit on fire. Yep. I'm three and a half k's from the Quasimodo. There's the hangar. Oh no. Alright, come back if you want to bail. I'm here. Alright, heading back to base. I'm going to see if it. I can spot where the Quasimodo's control is. See if I can take oh, no. that out. All the drones are going to get within range uh, right as I try to get in the hangar. Where is the base? I don't see the base anymore. It's the agitation station. Oh, there it is. Wow, that's a long way away. Oh no! Ugh! Base is shooting! There is going to be no fuel left on this whole one. Oh. We're done with it. Trying to reverse park without a camera is difficult run to fire. <laughs> Almost ran into the Quasimodo. Is its control? Ah! No oh, one. Um. See cockpit. Oh, I've only got two forward thrusters left. That's why it's taking okay. me so long. To oh run. yeah, I only had four of the little ones left when I was heading back. It was so slow. I'm surprised I can still fly at all. Can't see any crew on board. We have definitely badly damaged several of the tanks. So their gas is almost certainly gone. Ah, oh, finally locked to the base. At least tell me we've still got the ship in sight. Oh yeah, 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 I'm 100 meters from it. Yeah. Trying to see if I can spot any control module on it. There are still a couple of tanks that are half full on board. At least according to their indicator lights. Now let's take a very quick run through the gas pillar repair. I think I might have just hit its control module. Something exploded. The where I didn't expect to see an explosion. I was just trying to pick off the rear door. Yep, I think it's down. It's ready for the tug of war. All right, I can land this thing back at base before I die. <laughs> oh yep, so you're in the wasabi. Yeah, I'm literally at the back door of the ship. Yep. I might have accidentally just bumped it then too. I am standing on board the Quasimodo. There doesn't appear to be any enemy on board. How far away are you guys? Before I uh, go and get myself killed? Six and a half kilometers in closing. I am just about to dock at the base. Switch ships. Do you guys want me to wait for you? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, cool. I can see the... Uh, I can see... I think it's Earth. Through the hole in the roof of this ship I'm standing on. As well as something that looks like either Mars or Titan. Ow! What the? TFA! Why are shooting? Turn them off! Why are they? Why? Are they? Turn them off! You're still shooting! <laughs> it's probably this stupid one that got welded. <laughs> <laughs> After all these years, turrets still do stuff like that. <laughs> it's because when you weld them back up, it seems like I don't either I didn't have the subsystem it'll be whatever, set up. It'll be whatever setting yeah. they're set up as during the blueprint process. Should be safe to turn them back on now. Hey, no shit. Do you want to come join me on here so we can have this thing cleared when Capac arrives? Yep. Oh, I haven't got much jetpack fuel left. Uh, that could potentially be that. Uh, Capac's got a survival kit on board his thing, so you'll be able to fill up there. Oh, plus there's artificial gravity, so that'll be fine. Yeah. You wanna help me with this door? Hang on, I'll switch to a rifle, just in case. Clear. Clear. Yeah. If there was anyone on here, they got vented into space. Yeah. Inventory full. Power surge! Power surge. Oh dear. Uh oh. What Stop the gyroscopes! Mean? The gyroscopes! Go yeah, get... have we ground everything down first? Because remember, we can't do that until we've captured everything. Uh... What? <laughs> okay. Gyros uh. are fixed. Now I'm just going to check the thrusters. Uh, 
So the prison ship's getting awfully close to us. Uh, oh, it's it's still 2 .8 far kilometers. enough, I think. I guess this is a lot more intact than the previous ship. Yeah, this also could be our fuel hauler. We could refit it out as a fuel hauler from the pole. Oh yeah, yep, our ships are still here. All right, Kamek, you ready to grab this sucker? It's pretty big. It is pretty big. It only weighs 373,000 kilos, though, so you can carry it. It's less than the amount of ice that you normally carry. Do you want to grab it with the correct orientation this time? Come on, Kamek, line it up so you got the door with that flat bit of glass. Um, I would like to, but that will make it difficult to land. Oh. This thing might be able to land under its own power. Oh, no, probably won't. We it's only got four lifting thrusters. Oh, come on, try it. Well, I mean, if Capac drops me after grabbing me, like... Oh, well, he's got control anyway. I have turned off the the thrusters, the dampeners are off. I'm just going to grab my Wasabi Capac and I'll land it on top of your ship, and then I'll stay inside the Quasimodo as we come down. This is going to be a good haul. There's some decent fuel on board. Ow. Uh, I don't see any of the assert thrusters. I do. Like there's uh, yeah, there's, there? there's one on the front, at least. Oh, yep, there it is. Right. Hiding under that tank. Tankers are off. Alright, I'm on board the Quasimodo. I'm ready to go. Oh, we didn't check the for loot. TFE, do you want to come in and have a look? Ow. Or Capac? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can. Oh, that's right, you guys Thanks. have a look. I'll... I was going to say, I, pro I probably need to connect to Capac as well then. Oh, yeah, you should. Yeah. Uh, what orientation is your connector? I've got a connector underneath. You can go on oh, on the, uh, oh yeah, you can connect yeah. to the side of the yep. ore detector module. A pistol and a welder. Another welder. Oh yeah, and a I've got my um, reversing camera back. Ah! I just fell out of the ship. There's a hole in the corner of the, <laughs> the living quarters. I think that might be what happened to the crew. That is the most crooked docking I've ever seen. Well, it's fine. Ooh. Uh, there are some... There's some... Oh, there's some ammo on board this thing. Oh. Uh, there's also a couple of... Ooh. Is there some better Where guns? Is Where is that? 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 Now I'm trying to remember how on earth I get aboard this thing. Oh, yep, there's the ramp. Aha! Got it. Wow, basic grinder. <laughs> oh, some I space credits. I got a plushie. I got some space credits. I got a plushie. Oh, there's some data pads, apparently, in a yeah. bed that's been disabled. Yeah, should we re-enable the bed and see what's in the data pads? Here we go. Uh, the bells, the bells, a beginner's guide to tinnitus. Wait, the same one's in the other bed as well. <laughs> Please make it stop. Please make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. What did you say? We're back in... Um, maybe we should get back in our ships. <laughs> Why is that? Yeah. Well... You uh, should. I don't need to. Come back. I can easily land with slow. my ship attached to his. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah. Um, I'm planning on being in here to. Whoa! Whoa you were dampened, were you? Um, yeah, I'm planning on s trying to help this thing land. Because if this lands poorly, oof, it'll, it'll be entertaining. It'll be explosive. So, were they the only two data pads? Both about uh, tinnitus? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be landing in the dark. Mm. Yeah, we are. You you may want to get on board your ship because that's just some extra weight Capac doesn't need to cope with. Whereas mine's, it's a, fine. Lot, mine's a bit lighter. Away! <laughs> well, this is a good haul. So we just got... Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Three and a half large grid tanks worth of fuel. Nice. So that'll last at least 10 minutes. Well, I don't think a million kilos even fills up a single tank of single large grid tank. So we just got like a lot of fuel. If we can hook this up. Yeah, that support garrison's only six kilometers away. Oh, the observer's even closer. Yeah, we should take him out come daylight. Yeah. Yeah. Just go and clear out any of the ones that are there. And just... Oh no, that's one of the river ships. I was worried for a second when I saw smoke down the base. Come back. Yeah. I don't know. It's just 
thought for a second we were uh, losing our vertical velocity a little slower than we might want to. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I've done this like four times now. <laughs> That's he's, true. He's an expert. Oh, we are really close to the... Oh, come back! No! Oh, what the... There's a hill I can't see. Why did we bounce? I no, I it. can't see what's underneath us. A, a hill! You just hit me into it again. What? That mean There's a hill there! Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I don't you know how! It. We took no damage! But... We took like near no da There's a bit of a divot where we hit, so we definitely He's took some damage. He's connector along the ground. Very close to, yeah. I love that that happened. I know what I'm doing. I've done this four times now. So what is that about pride before a fall? <laughs> or a crash in this case. Oh, I thought we were in the flat bit. There was a crater. Yep. Now he's going to accidentally drop it from too high up. <laughs> this thing will make such a big hole if it drops and explodes. Yeah. Alright, I've touched down. Oh, Ooh, I can actually fly power. just a tiniest yeah. little bit. Nice. Well, don't fly, land. I need to get over the top. Oh, my, uh, my targeting thing for docking? Mm hmm. Ridiculously effective. I mean, it also would have been effective if you put a camera right over the connector. Oh, no, wait a No, second. it's better. Oh, because you center up the O, don't you? Rather than having to align something that's not in line with the camera. Not only do I center, I center the O in the camera, I've got an angled spotlight that hits it when I'm at the right distance. Uh. But also, when I get grabbed by the lock, the, the connector gives me a point of rotation. Yeah. So I can angle around so that I'm straight on. Yep. Although it's not working at the moment for some reason. Yeah, wait a second, this starter pad has the same title, but it says it's different stuff. Oh, what does it a say? Beginner's, a beginner's guide to tennis. Step one, ring bell. Step two, repeat step one. Hmm. That <laughs> checks out. I don't know, can we have like a little library or something where we store all the data pads? Yeah, we should do. Um, why don't we... Should we just use one of the um, lockers that's over on our base? Do you use one lockers or have like yeah. a put the one that room? use the locker that's next to the kitchen. Eventually, we'll just make like a tiny little room to look like a library. Yeah, with some LCDs with fake books on them. Hello. Yo. <laughs> lift has worked. Did you two actually just use my lift? Uh, I did, and Kavak happened to be the floor I went to. Ah, nice. I like it when things like that actually get used. <laughs> So most of the time you build cool things like that in Space Engineers and it's like, eh, and we never use it again. Yeah, unless you don't have a jetpack. Yeah. There's so many things to do. Yeah, I figured I'd focus on getting this module done rather than trying to go for mm. any of the air tightness things that I've been slowly working toward. But, I'll get there. Oh, oh what Agreed. is that? I want to know what he's first before calling you an idiot. <laughs> Got to put a rotor on before I put the hinge on. Well, that's slightly... So you could only aim up and down. <laughs> yeah, I would have had to get Kapak to aim me. Which kind of defeats the purpose of building a turret. Yeah, a turret that only... Isn't that basically the equivalent of, like, mounting machine guns on the front of a car? On the hood? It's like, you can only mm. aim up and down by braking. <laughs> yep. We're out of gold for the superconductors for the huh. jump drive. That's not surprising. Guess you gotta go and mine some gold. Uh, the agony. I guess I gotta take the lift down to the mining ships. Lift, you say? Elevator lift. The shreds, thing. you say. It's funny you should say that. It's also funny that you didn't notice anything. Mmm. I'm just waiting to explode. Um. Come back down something to my lift. Go have a okay. look at it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't say that before. That is very 
That's a very strange way of writing vertical translator. Oh, you're, you're on a different floor than us then, clearly. Oh, well, top floor. We're at the go up room. Oh, why? I made this look so nice and you go and ruin it. It looks even nicer now, because it's got a label. You you put the T upside down on the... <laughs> You've always got enough space for elevator, I think. He does have enough space for it. He's deliberately written horrible stuff everywhere. Hey, put that grinder away. Ow! I didn't think I was close enough to actually get you. That's rude. Don't, anyway. don't want people mistaking the elevator for a bathroom, do you? Uh, which that was way be? too specific to have not been a thing you've done. Funny, silly question, but how do I get out of this hangar in the mining ship? The, the roof? You gotta how open it. it, there's a button. Now I'm going to scan the entire room to look for the button. Yep, it's a panel. It's got... it's an LCD panel thing. It's the one with the, you know, LCD buttons. I mean, I see the button for the elevator, but, uh... You mean the lift? Yeah. Or the go-up room? Go-up room. Don't tell me it's on the outside. So, go down to B2. Yeah, that's where I am. <laughs> B2, yeah, that's the go-up room. What does that look like that I'm staring at? Oh, that thing. Eh, uh, kind of blending with railing. Yay! Oh, wow. Well. I was looking over here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, of course, I'm not going to see it up there. Uh-huh. <laughs> Fine, next time I'll just drill through the roof to get back in. No. <laughs> next... Next time, use your eyes and find stuff. Uh. Blamo. 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 Why, why is Capac on a Blamo broken record? Saying Blamo whenever I hear the clang noises when I'm welding things up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the hazard skin. Other panels are actually useful. Amazing. So Tiffy's almost got Tiffy. Have you actually made the jump drive as well? Uh, not yet. The problem is I've got to go and get more gold again. Yeah, you'll probably have to get quite a bit. Let me see. How many was it? Sounds like you two need to go on a mining expedition. Well, Capac, you could probably go on a mining me expedition here with to him. my own devices. So I managed to make roughly 300, so yeah, I need to make two more trips. Well, I mean, if Capac took his big ship with you, <laughs> you could offload into him. Like Good. I do when we go on an ice run. Well, that was a janktastic takeoff. That's not a word. <laughs> uh, it's descriptive, though. Wait, does the elevator have music? Uh, I was wondering when it would work for someone. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work at the start. I'm like, I'm not going to call that out. I'm just going to wait and see if it ever works. Because, <laughs> yes, it does. This is so weird watching the stone get ejected and then fall upwards. <laughs> what? Oh, because I'm upside down. Why are you upside down tossing stone how out? The, Cause that's how the mining hole is? There is no reason for you to be upside down. It's well, not minor. It's a, it's a stylistic choice then. It's also a dangerous one because you don't have as much lifting thrust. Like push... You're losing oh, all yeah. your lifting thrust. Why are you trying to crush all his dreams? Why is he trying to crush all my ships? That's tiny. dreams are better than ships. Now I'm the right way up. I don't understand. <laughs> Capac, you've been coming up with some amusing solutions to problems. Do you want to come over here and have a look at what I've done? Uh, where are you? Oh, here you are. Yeah, here's the module. Okay. <laughs> Energy low. That's definitely a thing. Uh -huh. uh, I, I'm terrified of what this is going to look like now that I'm, I haven't seen so, it. So. The problem I've got is I need to flip it upside down so that you can lock onto it and carry it away. Uh, How do you reckon we might go about that? Should I just knock it over? You've 
You literally have pistons with magnetic things on them. Yeah. It could, it could attach to the deck here and flip itself over. But it doesn't have any battery. Oh, well, shouldn't it have a battery? Well, we've been building these modules batteryless. Yeah, yeah, but this one, don't you want it to be able to act independently? Shouldn't it have, like, a battery no. and an antenna? No. Because then you can just deploy it somewhere. No, no, it's meant to stay attached to your ship, and I look at stuff as you're flying your ship around. But why has it got all these legs? So that when you detach it, it's got some way to stay stable, because otherwise the leg... It can't stay, remain stable. Look. But how's it going to do that when it doesn't have a battery to operate the legs? Let me show you what happens with the legs. Uh, where do I control the legs from? How do I get into this? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. So we do this first. So the legs do this while you are still attached, while it's still attached to your ship. Then we do this. And it locks to the ground. Right. And then you can pick it up easily. Uh... <laughs> I still feel like it should have a battery and an antenna on it. Figure out a spot I can fit a battery then. Maybe. Is there a spot like a reverse... A it's like a reverse spider. Yeah. Or one of those, um... Fairground rides that spins around really fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just need to, to figure out how I can get it upright so then you can connect to it and then it's all sorted. It's just the getting it upright bit. But I think you're right. If I put a ten even if I put a temporary battery on there, that should be enough to get it to flip itself over. Ow. <laughs> what did you hurt yourself on? I think the spider bit me. <laughs> I nudge it with the wasabi. Oh yes, nudging grids in the space engineers always ends well. <laughs> It'll be fine. There are enough subgrids here that it won't take damage. It's almost oh oh my gosh! It's almost bounced itself upright. It's actually locked to the ground. <laughs> Four hundred and forty-four superconductors to go. Okay, I think we're good. I think the connector's upright enough that I should be able to move it with the wasabi. No 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 no! Oh, got that just did in I, time. I was gonna say, did I just miss something? <laughs> no no, it's all good. It's all good. I was gonna say, I can sit here and watch since I'm waiting for superconductors to be built. <laughs> no, I have righted the thing. I am now removing the batteries. I can tell by the fact it's gun just started flopping. There we go. Easy to pick up, Kamak. Yeah, do it from there. <laughs> well, not from there, no. <laughs> That'll be very difficult for each ship. But I can move it somewhere where it can be easily picked up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a terrifying sight to see at the edge of your camera. Yeah, I thought I'd help you. I'll go grab a load of gold with this, and then we'll definitely be fine. Because I've done my module, and the only other stuff I need to do is big stuff on the base, so I'm happy to go do a little bit of this now. 257 superconductors to go. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. No! There you go, 200,000 kilos uh, of gold. Oh, that's so irritating. What did you do? You know how I said it damaged things? You damaged the jump drive? Yeah, it got rid of like 600 superconductors. Oh. Someone's glad I just went and did some mining then. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of, are we out of ice? No. No? How much do but we have left? Over 100,000 in cargo container. Okay, so we're close to and, running out. And we've got like another 100,000 elsewhere as well. I'll right, we'll do one quick trip to the pole and then I'll come back and get the cobalt. Luckily, I'm not adding anything more to this, so I should be able to uh, oh, break in. That must be so painful losing those bits, because you've been hand welding that whole thing, yes. haven't you? Oh, hand welding jump drives. It's horrible. Tempted to go off and attack an assert base while I wait. <laughs> but then I don't want to lead something back here and have this get shot up. <laughs> Oh yeah, the priority thing's working. I mean, honestly, if you want to speed things up, you probably want to add another refinery, not another assembler. Because the assembler wasn't the hold-up for you. You said you weren't getting enough gold. I have is no there, idea where we space? can fit some refineries. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can build a temporary one or two on the roof or something like that. But, 
Yeah, we don't really have a proper spot set up for them. Now all the refineries are prioritizing cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there? There's no way to like set the priority order manually. Well, they they order do it drag based them on to the. It does it based on what it's trying to. Um, do, but also your third refinery you've added doesn't actually work. What? It's not doing oh. it. Oh, I didn't pipe it in, did I? <laughs> Where did you build it even? Yeah, piping it into the system kind of useful. Where did you put it? It must be very well hidden if you can't see it. Like I'm looking at Capac section. I'm trying to figure out where where you put it. I blended it in so well, Splitsy hasn't realised it wasn't there before. Let's see how long it takes him to find it. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one. And oh, so nice. he can walk up there to his freaker. Uh, but yeah, it's not piped in. Luckily, there's... We might be able to fit a second one, like another one next to it as well. Because the connector on the other side of this can go. No, I like your choice of location. Because I didn't know what to do with that space. Yeah, we probably do at some point need to actually get all the stuff off the ships, don't we? They're just leaving them littering our front lawn. <laughs> oh, the... Yeah. The rovers and stuff. No, the cargo oh, ships. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think part of... I think we'll probably all feel more in the headspace to deal with those once we've got a base that's a bit more uh, complete feeling. Hate it when Build Player does this. I'm one superconductor short. Huh. As in, you've almost made the jump drive. Jump drive is complete. It is... Oh, should I stop it charging? Because otherwise it's probably going to drain the batteries on this grid. Yeah. How many batteries are on that grid? Uh, nine. Oh, oh yeah. fully depleting 20 minutes. Oh, 12. What, what kind of math am I doing? Uh, control panel, jump drive. Complete, so the jump drive in is fully charged in seven minutes. Oh, it'll recharge before they go flat, because they're going to deplete in twenty minutes. Yeah, oh, that's fine. So it's fine. That's perfect. Yay! Success. Um, then we just need to figure out how we can get this thing charged. Anyway, uh, it's got four hydrogen engines. Yeah, but how? Like, it's got to be connected up to the base, doesn't it? So we can power it. Yeah, and I've got to put a connector on the underside, most likely. Yep. Oh, Kamak. Yeah. You... I see a large arm moving. Yeah, I might need some help with it. I don't know how to set up inertia things to make it not death wobble. <laughs> this crane, Cut. this piston that's down the bottom here, is that your base piston? Or is there something below this? Huh? This piston that's down with this, where I am. Yeah. Is that your piston that's attached to the base, or is there a one below that? That is the one attached to the base. Okay. That is the only one that should have share inertia tensor off. Sure. Is this one at the very end going to be floppy? Uh, all three of these are. This is a perfectly safe place to stand. Uh, oh. That's falling. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> Oh, this is... Well, I suppose it works. The real question is, can I stay on it? Nope. I okay, you can't. Yeah. You can keep sprinting upwards. Have now, you got some breaking torque on them, Kapak? Nope. Nope. I'm uh, just doing it manually. There we go. You may want to have some on it, just so it stops sway. Yeah, if you don't want to oh, basically yeah, yeah. Um, wrecking ball a because, module into the base. <laughs> because in Space Engineers, there is no friction for these things, so that you'll need to have a little bit. And when I mean a little bit, I mean... Yeah, that might actually be enough. Alright, so you've got a crane for these modules. But you still need to learn how to set up the park script so you can control this stuff with a from that, con from that uh, cockpit, right? Is that correct? Uh, I, I could probably handle programming the controls. It was just the, um... Do you know... Fixing death wobbles that I was worried about. Oh, you're just going to do this with a turret controller, are you? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Ooh. And then just use manual controls for the piston extension and retraction. Yep. He's going for the vanilla approach. Oh, I really like the open cockpit 
of this type with the door. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, to enter from that way, yeah. Yeah. And then it's got access to the controls around the back. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. It's very neat. We're in a pretty good position now that it's starting to become daylight. That next time we can use your new module crane, attempt to pop stuff onto your ship, and uh, fly up to the asteroids and see if we can find any uranium, and if not, make plans for how we're going to deal with that issue <laughs> and the lack of power. Because we need a lot more power. Well, now that you've got this crane, Capac, I think we're in a pretty good position where you've got the crane, we've got the scanner module, we've got the jump drive module, we've got a whole bunch of fuel so we can do a bunch of flying and not really worry about it because I'll move that um, Quasimodo onto the base soon. So we should be able to do a proper little scout of the asteroid field and see if we can find anything good up there. Fingers crossed for uranium, otherwise we're going to be doing some planetary searches. I think there's all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Goodbye.